everyone, everyone who is ready. Yes. Okay, so no worries if you are not ready yet with your materials. I'll give you the whole material list again. And if you don't have it, go quickly grab that. Okay, so I'm just sharing my screen with you all. Give me a second. Yes, so can you all see my screen? Give me thumbs up. Cool. So as you all can see, this is what we are going to make in our today's class. How do you find it? Is it good? Are you all excited to make this? Yes. Okay, so this is the material list. We just need an A4 size white paper, a compass with a pencil, black gel pen or ball pen, or you can use black sketch pen as well. We need watercolors or sketch pens or crayons, or specifically if we say we need these uh, blue, green, and orange color, you can use any other combination of three colors, okay? Then we need a water container, and uh, this is required only if you are using watercolors and brushes so these two are required only when you are using watercolors if you don't have watercolors no worries at all we can use crayons and uh, sketch pens as well okay so this is tomorrow's class who all are fond of angry birds give me thumbs up okay so tomorrow you are going to make those faces by yourself, right? Is it exciting enough? Yes? Great. So this is what we are going to have in tomorrow's class. And these are the materials. You will definitely be informed for the materials over WhatsApp. And you can anytime check our live uh, website, live.yolo.com. You can just go and see the time. Uh, I would say the timetable for the next week. You will be all updated on WhatsApp, Fuse, Vistio. Okay. Cool. So this class we will be having tomorrow at 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. And 11 a.m. we have our candles. Are you all excited for candle making class? Water candles. So we'll be having it tomorrow, uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. And these are the materials required for the class. So again, you will be informed for the material list through Mistio, Fuse, WhatsApp, and our live YOLO app, live YOLO website, okay? So I will be le letting you all know about the procedure in the end of the class. This is our website, live.yolo.com. You can anytime go and check all the websites and even the submissions there. So we, we keep posting the top submissions there. So you all can make your submissions and submit it at, at the website itself. Going forward, we do not require any mail or any WhatsApp entry, anything. You just have to go to live.yolo.com and submit your web, uh, submissions there, okay? So we will be taking care of this in the uh, at, at the end of the class. I'll take you through the procedure, how you can uh, submit your entries there. Okay, cool. So let's call our teacher now. Okay, one minute. Niharika ma'am, are you there? Can you unmute yourself? Great. Yeah, Niharika ma'am, are you there? Okay, just give us a minute. Ma'am is already here. Hi, Niharika, ma'am. Hello. 
Yeah. Yeah, ma'am, we can hear you. Are you there? Yes, yes, yes. I'm all here. I'm all here. Okay. Okay. Hello, kids. Hi, everybody. So, I'm Niharika, and I'm back with another session today. Um, Niharika, so, ma'am, we are not able to see your video. Can you check once? Oh, yes, my video is on from this device. Okay. Okay, fine. Can you see uh, the video now? Not yet. Maybe if you would you like to log in, log in again and we can do it. Okay, yes, I'll do that. Yeah. By the time I'll just share my screen kits. Uh, if you all have not collected your materials, please go and collect quickly and also a water bottle along with you. Right. So I'm keeping it for everyone. Please, by the time ma'am comes in. This is the material required. Okay. Please quickly have these materials and keep it ready with yourself and a water bottle as, as always, right? Okay. Ma'am will be here soon. So just keep yourself ready and enthusiastic. We all will be doing this beautiful mandala along with the watercolors. Or if you have sketch colors, that also works for us. Right? Okay. Just give us a few minutes. Ma'am will be here. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Just give us a few minutes. By the time I would request everyone to be ready with the materials and a water bottle so that you don't have to go out in between. Do you all have compass, right? I hope you all have. Cool. Just keep your uh, uh, compass ready and also be careful while using the compass, okay? I just hope you all will be using it carefully, will not hurt yourself by the compass. Okay. Yeah, so I'll be just uh, answering to a little more queries if we have. Okay. You can also note down the coming weeks, uh, uh, tomorrow's class also. Tomorrow at 3.30 to 4.30, we'll be having our Angry Bird class craft, craft class. And uh, these are the materials required. And these are the faces we are going to make. Our and is funny, right? And the water candles. I hope you are excited for the water candles because these are the decoration we would be requiring for Diwali, right? And also we are coming up with exciting Diwali craft in the coming week. So I'm just guessing how excited you all would be for Diwali craft and decorations. Right? Okay. Yeah. 
Give us a minute. Our ma'am is facing a little bit issue. No worries. We are all there. Okay. Which brush do we use? So you can use uh, any brush of size six or eight. Okay. Cool. I can see everybody ready with the materials. Okay, somebody's telling I've already made my water candles. Wow. Great. Nice. I can see what else is there. Great. Okay, so you are you can use crayons and your uh, any sort of sketch pen or whatever you have, you can use it. Okay. Okay, so we are getting requests for high uh, high schools as well. We will definitely come up with some different uh, workshops for the uh, older kids also. Okay. So container is required only if you are using watercolors. We don't require if you uh, are using. Uh, basically, if you are using the sketch pens or crayons colors. OK. Yeah, so let us call our ma'am now. She's already here. So Niharika ma'am, can you unmute yourself now? Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am, we can hear you. OK, so I am facing a little bit of issue with my camera, but not to worry, we will not have that issue while the class is on. So don't worry if you can't see me, I'm just solving that problem. But we'll just make sure that it's a smooth session. OK, so don't worry, kids, if you can't see me. I'll I'll just make you uh, make the session very smooth so you'll not miss anything. So don't worry about that. OK, so hello, everyone. My name is Niharika and I'm back with another mandala session today. So we all are going to draw a yin yang mandala. OK, so it's a yin yang mandala you might have seen in the poster as well. So what is a yin yang mandala? I'll quickly give you a short brief about it. So a yin yang basically means when two opposite things are brought together and a balance is there. So when you see a yin yang, there are two opposite things which are shown together. So it signifies or it is a symbol that says that your both the opposite things can be brought together. OK, so yin yang basically means that two opposite things can also be together. So that's what is called as a yin yang. All right, so Bhavna ma'am, are we good to start with the session? Yes, ma'am, please. You can go ahead. Okay, so. Neharika ma'am, are you? Yes, yes, I'm all here. I'm just starting. So all of you, can you see the screen? Give me a thumbs up if you can see the screen. Yes, yes, we can. OK. So since you all can see the screen now, I'll quickly tell you what materials do we need for this session. OK, so please do have a careful look at all the materials that you need for today's class, okay? So first, 
you need a white paper this is an a4 size neharika ma'am but we can't see your uh, video you can't see the video yeah we can just see a tab open okay Okay, just give me a minute. I'll just start the video. One minute, kids. Ah, uh, please. Ah, uh, so, ma'am is just figuring out. Don't worry about it. It will be played. Ah, uh, in played soon. Just give us a few minutes. We are just figuring out what issue we are facing. So yeah, okay. it's there. Okay. So can you see the screen now? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm just sharing the materials that you need for today's session. So the first is an A4 size white sheet. So this is an A4 size white sheet that we need. Second, you need a black gel pen or a black ball pen or even a black sketch pen. So anything which has a black ink, you need something like that. Don't worry if you don't have a black gel pen. You can use a black ball pen. You can use a black gel pen. So the second material you need is a black gel pen or a ball pen. So this is the second material. third material that you need is a rounder or a compass attached with a pencil so if you see i already have a rounder which is attached to a pencil also just make sure that the screw of the rounder is tightly fixed so that the pencil doesn't move okay so just make sure that you have a rounder which has a pencil attached to it and the screw is tight so that the pencil doesn't move okay kids So this is the third material. This is a rounder or a compass which is attached with a pencil. The third that you need is a water container. So anything like a bowl of water or a glass of water would do. So need a little bit of water. Third, you need brushes. The next, you need brushes. So the fourth one was water container. The fifth one is brushes, and the next is you need some paints now listen to me carefully it's okay if you don't have paints all right even if you have crayons if you have oil pastels if you have sketch pens it's totally fine so don't worry if you don't have paints if you don't have paints you can use oil pastels or crayons and also make sure that if you're not using paints do not take the water container and the brushes so only for people who are using paints we need the brushes and the water container okay students so just make sure that you have all of these materials and if you don't have any of it it's okay you can use a close substitute to it so you can use crayons instead of paints you can use oil pastels instead of paints that's totally fine all right so let's so tell me who is excited to start with the yin yang mandala give me a thumbs up in the chat all right so even i'm excited to share how we draw a yin yang mandala okay so let's get started listen to me carefully when i start with the session okay i'll be repeating the steps don't worry but let's start with this session now all right so the first you just take your rounder 
step one is take your rounder, take your compass, which has a pencil attached to it and take a radius of 10 centimeters. I repeat, take a radius of 10 centimeters in your, in your compass or your rounder. Okay. So we are just taking a radius of 10 centimeters in the compass and we just place the point roughly at the tip or the center point of the page and we are just drawing a circle. So I repeat a radius of 10 centimeters and we draw a circle roughly at the center. Do you see the circle that I've drawn? So, so ma'am, 10 centimeter radius would be a little bigger for them. So let it let us keep it five centimeter. Okay. Um, or maybe you can take seven or eight centimeters because we have further circles to be drawn inside this, right? So let's yeah. have a little larger six or seven. So six centimeters, seven centimeters circle and you just draw a circle at the middle of the page, roughly at the middle of the page. Okay. The next, you just take a radius of two centimeters. Okay. Just two centimeter radius. I repeat a radius of two centimeters. And once you're done with taking a radius of two centimeters, now carefully have a look at where I place the rounder tip, okay? So I'm placing it at the top left, at the top left of the circle that we have drawn previously. I'm just drawing a smaller circle at the top left. So it should be located at the top left, if you see. So it's a radius of two centimeters and I'm just drawing a smaller circle inside the larger circle and the smaller circle is at the top left. Okay, dears? Now, keeping the radius same, keep the radius same and draw the same circle at the bottom right. See how I'm drawing a circle at the bottom right? A small circle of the same radius at the bottom right. Okay. Also, if you're just facing any kind of difficulty in drawing such a small circle, you can just rotate the sheet instead of rotating the rounder. Okay. So you just need one and two, two small circles inside the larger circle. Okay. I repeat, there should be two small circles inside the larger circles. So how many of you are done with this step. Give me a thumbs up. Let's see who is completed with this step. Okay. So I again repeat, we just have two small circles inside the larger circle that we have drawn. Okay, two circles. And now you just need your pencil. Just take your pencil and we are going to draw a curved line. We see a curve line. How do I draw a curve line? So I'm drawing a curve line around the smaller circle. So I'm starting from the bottom. I'm drawing a curve around the smaller circle. And then I'm drawing a curve line on top as well. So it looks like an ulta S if you see, right? So we are just drawing this curved line around the two small circles. So just a curved line. Let's see a repeat of this. How do we draw a curved line? You start from the bottom part. You draw a curved line and you draw a curved line up till the top. And we're not touching the two smaller circles. We're just drawing a curve line around the circles. All right. So till then, let's see who's doing a good work. Uh, Bhavna Preeti, can I see your work, dear? Yes, that's perfect. Very neat and very good. Who's 
Pooja. Yes, that's very good. Very, very good. That's neat and very crisp. Apurva, can I see your work there? Yes, that's perfect. Very good. Very good. Lipika, yes, that's perfect. Very good. Okay, students. So now, once you're done with the curved line, just make sure that you are taking your black gel pen or ball pen that you have and just give an outline to all the pencil markings. Okay, so I'm just overdrawing the curved line, if you see, with a black gel pen. And if you don't have a black gel pen, as I said, do not worry. You can use a black sketch pen or a ball pen also. So just give a nice clean outline to the two small circles and the curved line that we have drawn. Okay. So just giving an outline and once you're done with an outline, just give me a thumbs up and I'll look at your works. Okay. Just give an outline and I will have a look at your works. Sanjana, what you can do is you can give another layer of, uh, you know, black ink to it. Okay, dear, be slow, it's okay. Do not rush the process, but do it very neatly, okay? So everybody just make sure that you're being very, very neat with the outlines. It's okay if you take time. So just the two circles and the curved line you're going to outline with the black sketch pen or the black ball pen. Ankita, yes, that looks good. Very good. Advika, yes, very, very good. Druti, yes, I can see your work. Very good, dear. Very neat. Keep it up. Satvi, very good. You're doing very great. Shravya, Shravya, yes, that's very neat there, very good. It's going to look gorgeous after you color it also. Very good, keep it up. Yeah, Aika ma'am, can you once repeat the smaller circle? How did you draw? Maybe our kids would like to understand it again. Yeah. Yes. So let's just have a quick repeat of how do we draw two small circles. So once you're done with the larger circle, we're just going to take a radius of two centimeters. So we're just taking a radius of two centimeters and see how I place the point of the compass. I place it at the top left. So first smaller circle would be at the top left of it. So a small circle at the top left of the circle and the smaller circle will be inside the larger circle. Okay. So this is the first small circle that we have drawn. And the next circle that we need is at the bottom right. So if you see the bottom right side towards the right side inside the larger circle, we draw a, another smaller circle. So we have two small circles inside the larger circle. One is at the top left. The another one is at the bottom right. So top left and bottom right, we have two circles and these circles are inside the larger circles. They do not fall outside the larger circle. Okay. So everybody give me a thumbs up if you're done with the outline. Let's see who's done with the outline. Abhilash, yes, very good. Very, very neat. Very good. Tej Meghna, yes, that's perfect. Very good, dear. Ashwini, yes, I see your work, dear. Very good. Keep it up. All right. So once you're done with the outline, just keep your paints or the sketch pens or the colors ready. Because we are now all set to color 
into this pattern okay so i'm just keeping my colors and the brushes and the water containers ready don't worry if you don't have paints we can also use oil pastels or crayons for this so if you don't have paints use oil pastels crayons or even sketch pens okay dears so i'm just taking paint i'm dipping the brush into water okay so i'm just dipping the brush into water to make it a little wet and the first time i'll take a little bit of blue color so i'm taking dark blue color a little bit of dark blue color don't worry if you don't have blue color you can use green color you can use red color any color of your choice if you don't have blue color you can make use of any other color that you like so i'm just making use of a little bit of blue color and i will start i will start coloring on the left side if you see i'm just putting the brush on the left side so just start coloring on the left side and do not put color outside the larger circle okay be slow and do not move out of the large circle and out of the curve line so since we have already divided it into two halves by the curve line we are just going to color only on one side so i'm coloring on the left side and i'm making use of blue color okay and do not move out of the larger circle be very clean with it so i'm just i've just done a little bit of blue color on the left side and now i'm going to make use of another color so i'm taking a little bit of green so if you want you can just keep blue color or if you want to do a little bit of shading you can also make use of more than two colors all right so since i'm doing a little bit of shading over here i'll make use of another color and that's green now again if you don't have green don't worry you can use yellow you can use pink you can use orange so any color you like all right so that's green and now if you see i am not coloring inside the smaller circle so we will not color inside the smaller circle we will just surround color around it we are not coloring inside the smaller circle so please be careful over here we will not color inside the smaller circle we are just coloring outside it so don't worry if you don't have paints you can use crayons you can use oil pastels and you can just color nice and fresh on one side and do not color inside the smaller circle okay kids so do not color inside the smaller circle just color around it and inside the larger circle and the third color i'm using over here is a little bit of orange so if again you don't have orange you can make use of any other color that you like or any other color which is close to it you need not use the exact same color okay so did you see how i've just colored only one side and i'm not colored inside the small circles so i'm not coloring inside the small circles i'm just coloring on the outside area that is inside the larger circle so be very clean with your works i'll quickly repeat a little bit over here i've taken a little bit of blue and i'm just coloring on the left side and then i took a little bit of green and then i just colored the upper part of it but i'm not coloring the small circles and then the last one i took a little bit of orange and i colored the upper portion so if you see i'm not moving out of the larger circle at all so be very clean with your works and if you don't have these colors it's okay if you use a single color or if you use crayons oil pastels or any of it okay so once you are done just give me a thumbs up 
give me a thumbs up if you are done with it. Okay, so I'm keeping it on the screen over here so that you can see and then we'll proceed. So just color very neatly. It's okay if you take a little bit of time, but color it very neatly, okay? You can use any kind of colors. If you don't have paints, you can use oil pastels, crayons, pencil colors, plastic colors, any of it you want, okay, students? Don't worry if you don't have paints. It's absolutely fine. Wow, Akshaya, that looks very pretty, very good. Very neat and very nice. Very good, dear. Srinidhi, yes, I can see your work. Very good, dear. It looks very pretty. Urvi, yes, very good. Beautiful shading, very good. Aritrika, wow, that's a beautiful shading, dear. Very nice. Very good. Okay. So now, again, you need a little bit of paint. Don't worry, I'll be repeating this step. But if you're done, just follow this step. So now on the other side, the other side. Now we just color the left side. Now on the right side, we have a small circle, right? On the right side, we have a small circle. And I'm just coloring inside the small circle this time. We are not going to color the outside area, but we are going to color the inside of the small circle. See, I'm just coloring inside the small circle and I'm not moving out of the, of the small circle. But do it on the opposite side. So this time, I'm just coloring the same, using the same colors on the right side and only inside the small circle, okay? So don't worry, I'm just repeating this step again. See, there's a small circle on the right side now, on the opposite side now, and I'm just coloring inside the smaller circle. So just coloring inside the small circle and not moving outside of the small circle. So be very neat with this process. Don't worry. Don't rush the process if you're not done. It's totally fine. So just be neat in your works. And once you're done, just give me a thumbs up. And I'll see your work. Just give me a thumbs up and I'll see your work. And if you're done with all the coloring and everything, now you can keep your paints aside also. Okay, so if you're using paints, you can keep your paints aside because all the painting and the coloring part is done. But we will wait for another five minutes. So then we can all complete the coloring and everybody should be answering the polls. So Bhavna ma'am, can we have the polls now? Yes, Niharika ma'am. So kids, today we will be having our polls on a different website. I am sharing that link in the chat. Can you all click on that link? I'm just sharing it in the chat. So we'll be having our polls today on the uh, website, which the link I'm just sharing you immediately with you all. Okay, were you able to see? 
So this is the link. You just have to click on this and save the polls. Okay, everybody, just quickly answer the polls. Click on the link that is given in the chat box and quickly answer the poll so that we can move to the next part. All right, so let's see who quickly completes the poll and gives a thumbs up in the chat. And I would request uh, the people who are watching us on YouTube and Facebook, I'm sharing the link with them on the chat section. They can just immediately click on the link and uh, give, give the polls. Were you all able to move to the link? Give us a thumbs up. Quick I hope everybody can the able. polls now. So that yeah. we can complete the later part of the yin yang mandala because if you take time over here, then it will get late for us to complete. So quickly answer the polls. And give us a thumbs up if you're done with the polls. Let's see who does it first. Okay, quickly, everyone, I just hope everybody is able to click on the link and move to the link. Yes, people who have done it, just uh, give us a thumbs up or you, they can comment over the link. Okay, I'm sending the link once again, who are not able to go to the link. Can you all quickly move to the link? Who all are able to submit, please, uh, just let us know. You can just uh, give us a thumbs up or uh, put a comment that yes, we have filled the uh, polls. Quickly, everyone, we need to go back to our class. So I would request everyone who has done the polls, great, who have not, please go to the link shared with you in the chat. Yes, dear, the link is available on the chat. So if you can't see, you can just scroll up a little bit and you'll get the link, okay? So just quickly answer the polls in few minutes from now. And we'll get back to the session, to the class after the polls. Yes. I have reshared the link. So whosoever has not been able to do this, they can directly go and click on this. Click on the link shared in the chat. I just hope everybody is able to. Okay. Cool. Um, so Niharika ma'am, yes, thank you so much everyone uh, who has filled the poll. Thank you so much. So Niharika ma'am, you can continue the class. Yes, Bhavna ma'am, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So once you're done with the coloring, I'll just quickly repeat for the other side. That was the smaller circle. So many of you are already done with it. So don't worry, just wait for two minutes till then your paint is also dried if you have used paints. Till then I just repeat 
this one step which was about coloring the other side smaller circle so if you have painted on the left side now you move to the right side and you just paint inside the smaller circle this time this time you don't move outside the smaller circle and i'm using the same paints i'm using blue green and yellow blue green and orange it's okay again if you don't have paints as i said any kind of colors and sketch pens would work and you can make your own choice of colors also if you don't have okay so i'm just keeping aside my paints and the water container so that it doesn't spill over to my work later so just keep your paints and the water container aside and get ready with your black sketch pen or the black ball pen so once you are done with the black sketch pen coloring and are ready with black sketch pen or ball pen just quickly give me a thumbs up and i'll just quickly see few of your works maria yes very good that looks very beautiful and very neat ananti yes very good yes rishal rishal that's very beautiful book bright bright colors very nice pavani very nice very good sushma that's beautiful keep it up priyanshi that's very nice very good chinmay yes that's very beautiful rishi that's beautiful shriya yes i see a little bit of white space in between the colors so just make sure you're not leaving any kind of white spaces just give it a little bit of color to the white spaces if you see in between the color you have a lot of white space and it's looking very light okay so just give another layer of color to it and you will be good to go it looks beautiful though okay swiksha that's beautiful anvita very good rida that's beautiful nitya yes you're doing great jeevika that's beautiful how neat manya very good rashi that's beautiful okay let's continue now now you need your black sketch pen and a or a black ball pen or a black sketch pen so just take your black sketch pen black ball pen and you just see i'm just drawing few patterns on the left side on the right side and around the smaller circle so take your sketch pens ball pen gel pens and start making the same that i'm drawing on the screen right now only on the right side okay so i'm just drawing this flower petals around the smaller circle you see i'm just drawing these flower petals if your paint is wet don't worry just don't put your hands or your fingers on the paint so just keep your hand around the page but don't put it on the paint area because that would make your work look unneat so just draw these flower petals i'll just give you a quick repeat see i'm just drawing this flower petals around the circle so just these flower petals you remember this curved petals that we did in the previous session also so these are just these normal flower petals that we are drawing around the colored circle so we are just drawing around the colored circle if you see and that's only on the right side so drawing these petals around the colored circle shambhavi yes that's beautiful very good rishal yes that's correct very good Draw petals around it, dear. Fazia, Fazia, that's beautiful. Sanskriti, yes, that's perfect. Sushma, beautiful, very good, dear. Samal, that's that's very beautiful and very neat, dear. Very good. Sviksha, very good, very good. Rishi, yes, you're doing great. Very good. Ritika, that's beautiful. I can see it. Avni, Tyagi, that's beautiful. Alvina yes that's nice how neat very good dear Harita wow what a beautiful shading and even the petals look so good 
Okay. So once done with petals, inside the petals, just draw the small vertical lines. Just draw lines inside the petals, in between the petals. So just drawing these lines between the petals. See, I'm just drawing these vertical lines between the flower petals. So just quickly draw these vertical lines and then we move to the next step. Draw a leaf shape now. You remember the leaf shape? That's how we draw leaf shape. Look at the screen and see how I draw a leaf shape around the petals now. And now if you see, I'm not moving out of this curved line. So I'm just drawing the pattern within the curved line and I'm just drawing this leaf shape. See, do you see how I draw the leaves around? And just make sure that you're not falling out of the large circle, okay? So just continue this process around the petal shape. Now draw a leaf shape. So we just draw a leaf, a leaf shape around the petals. So just a leaf shape around the petals. And let's see who's done with the leaf shape also. Pooja, that's beautiful. How lovely, very good. Gauri, wow. How beautiful. Very good work here. Anika, yes, that's beautiful. Very good. Okay, so just drawing this leaf shape around, around the petals that we drew. And now I'm just drawing a circle between the leaf shape. See how I'm drawing a circle? Just a circle between the leaf shape. So just draw circles, small circles between the leaf shape. So just draw these circles. I'll quickly recap from the start. So first, we are just drawing these petal shapes. So first was this round flower petal shapes that we drew. And then we just gave the vertical lines in between. See how I gave these vertical lines in between the petals. And the second layer, I draw a leaf shape. So I'm just drawing a leaf shape around. And then I draw circles. So I'm just drawing this circle in between the leaf shapes. And please do not move out of the larger circle, okay? So every pattern would be inside the larger circle only. Okay, so give me a thumbs up who's ready to go for the next step now. So the next step now is draw a curve line. See how I draw a curve line around the previous pattern. So I'm just drawing two curve lines with a little bit of gap. I'll quickly repeat this. So see, one curved line around the pattern and then the second curved line. You see, there's a little bit of gap also. So the first curved line and then the second curved line. So this is how there should be a gap between the two curved lines, okay? And now just draw these zigzag lines in between. You see these zigzag lines? I'm just drawing the zigzag lines. And again, do not move out of the larger circle. Everything should be inside. So quick recap. These are the two curved lines. And then we draw the zigzag line. 
right that's just the zigzag line wow nitya that's beautiful very good sakshi yes that's beautiful very good Hema that's beautiful very good Prisha very good Okay so now inside the zigzag line just draw small triangles so if you see i'm just drawing these small triangles and coloring the triangles so drawing small triangles and coloring the small triangles drawing the small triangles and coloring the small triangles and i'm doing it for both the sides okay so can you see how i'm drawing these triangles in between the zigzag lines so that's the next pattern that we have so i will give a quick recap of this first we draw the two curved lines and then we just draw zigzag lines in between so i'm just drawing this zigzag line in between and then i just draw small triangles and color it so small triangles in inside the zigzag lines and i color it so priya that's very beautiful very good labdi that's beautiful very good dear Okay, so now everybody who's done with the zigzag line, draw another curved line on top, and just draw these vertical lines, simple straight lines that we draw. So I'll just quickly repeat. See, I've just drawn another curved line on top, and just quickly draw a curved line on top, and then. i just draw these straight lines straight lines now this could be done a little quickly so just drawing these straight lines and now again a small curved line on top and then we draw these circles so just draw these circles in the next one in the next layer till then i'll just repeat okay so look how how it happened after the zigzag line so after the zigzag line again a curve line with a little bit of gap and then i draw these straight lines i draw these straight lines we are almost there we are almost there don't worry don't worry we are almost about to finish this and then again a curve line on top and we just draw these circles small circles between the lines right and then again a curve line you draw on top of the circles and we draw the round petals the petals that we drew around the colorful circle over here we just draw the same petals on top Okay, so again we just draw the petals and we draw a straight line into it. So I'll quickly repeat. We just draw the circles in the previous layer between the curved line, and then we again draw a curved line, and then we just draw these round petals, and then small straight lines in between. and then again a curved line and you simply draw these circles again see how beautiful it looks just these small circles again 
So I'll just quickly recap this process over here. So if you see, I've just drawn a curved line and then I draw circles. At the top, you just draw these curved lines to finish it. So see how I've just drawn these three curved lines to finish it? And you're done with one side of it. You're done with the one side of it. And inside, everybody who's done with the steps till here can just draw a smaller leaf inside the large leaf shapes in the second layer. You can just give a, a smaller leaf in the larger leaf. But this is completely optional. So if you want, you can do. If you don't want, you can just skip this process. And again, over here, I'm just drawing these three curved lines. Oh, see, we just completed the left side of it. Right? So I'm sure most of you are done with the left side. And now on the right side, where there is no color in the smaller circle, we just quickly draw some pattern over there. So again, I'm drawing a tiny little circle inside the smaller circle which is there on the left side and then again we draw a flower so a small flower that we are drawing see how i draw a flower so again a circle and then petals around it so we draw a flower panchami yes i see your work very good and then we just draw these vertical lines in between the round petals. And again, we draw this leaf shape. And again, we are not moving outside the small circle. We are just staying inside. So see how I just draw this leaf shape inside the small circle. And that's around the flower that we have drawn. So again, giving these circles around it. So that's almost the same that we drew on the other side, that is on the right side. So see, again, I'll repeat from the start. You just draw a circle first. We are almost done. We are almost done. And I'm sure it's looking beautiful. I can see your works. Wait. Sanskriti, that's beautiful. Very good. Jivika, that's beautiful. Good work, dear. Rida, that's beautiful. Ami, that's beautiful. Very good, dear. Sandi, very neat work. Keep it up. So I'm just drawing this leaf shape. And then I'm drawing these circles. So that's it. See how beautiful it looks after it's done? And just these circles. And again, that's an optional process. If you want to draw these smaller leaves, you can draw these smaller leaf petals. But if you don't want, you can just skip this process. Okay. So I'm just drawing this smaller one inside the larger leaf, leaf shape. So that's all. That's all the patterns that you need. So give me a thumbs up if you're done. Let's see who's done with it. I'll keep it on the screen for one minute before I just keep this away. And let's see, Satvik, that's beautiful, very good. Kashyap, you're doing a great work, very good. It's okay if you have not completed, we'll share the picture with you so that you can complete the patterns later on. So do not rush, it's okay. Samiksha, that's beautiful. Mukun, that's beautiful, very good. Sushri, yes, that's beautiful, very good there. Such a neat work, very good. Okay, so we'll share this picture with you if you have not completed, it's okay. 
we will share the picture and you can complete it later on. So, by then, Bhavna ma'am, are you there? Yes, Nihayika ma'am. Okay, kids, amazing. I can see a lot of beautiful mandalas coming in in front of my screen. Ankita, it's looking really good. Wow. Mukun, it's very good. Wow. Meghna, wow. It's all looking very pretty. Pranav, it's really good. Nice. Advika, really good. Great. I can see Apurva. Wow. Good. I'm really glad to see such submissions. I would like to receive these submissions right here where I'm showing you all. So I am going to tell you how you have to submit your entries over submissions. Okay. Are you all ready for the submission? You have to know, right, where you can submit. So I'm just sharing my screen. What all you have to do is. So what you have to do is you have to open a new tab. Type live. One second. Live.yulo.com. Okay. You have to click here. And you have to log in through your uh, phone number. Okay. So I just repeat the step once again. You have to go to YOLO, live.yolo.com. Live.yolo.com. Okay. Click here. So let's say you have to you have to firstly go to submit your activity. Okay. So for that you have to log in first. So I am just putting my random number over there. And I have to log in through my number. You can ask your parents to log in here. Okay. You just have to put the number here. Uh, and it will... Now, ma'am, actually, we cannot see any activity on your screen. So, can you please repeat this? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait a second. I will uh, do it again. So, basically, you have to go to this and submit your entry here. Can you see all? Were you able to see now? Yes, your... now that's clear. Yes. Okay. So, you here submit your activity because i have already logged in so uh, i will be just going here and putting my number i will get an otp i'll put that otp here and i will be able to see show your activity uh, submit your activity so once you click here you will get an option one second Give me a second. I will just check it. One minute. One second. Give me a second, okay? So you just have to go to live.yolo.com. Okay? One second, one second. Okay, so the website is live.yolo.com. So if you see, I'm just typing it on the chat box also. It's live.yolo.com. Were you all able to go to the website live.yolo.com? Okay. Um, give me a second. I'm just sharing my screen now. So can you all see this? 
when you type live.yolo.com you will go to this link what you have to do is you have to just scroll down okay and you will see this uh, sh submit your entry and you will click on there submit your activity and you will be able to get an option to submit your entry here so yeah, can you see if i have to submit my uh, english award winning story uh, submission i'll click over here i will be just giving an option to upload my image i'll click over here it will take me to an uh, box which will give me an option to upload so let's say i have my pictures already there on my laptop i will just open that and click over one image and i will just click over uh, open okay so you can upload your entries like this and your submission will be submitted okay okay so i hope you were able to understand you just have to go to live.yolo.com you have to log in through your uh, uh, through your phone number there will be an otp sent on your number once the otp is submitted you will be going to any of the class which are already done and you have to just click on submit your activity once you click there you will get an option to upload your submission upload the submission and you will be able to click whichever submission you want to make you must be having your photo on the laptop you can do it through phone as well okay you can just click on uh, on the phone you can just click on update and you can just select your image for which you have to upload and your submission will be done you don't have to do anything else okay now we have left the email option like we don't have to send our entries over the email or you don't have to submit it over any whatsapp anywhere you just have to go to live.yolo.com and you have to just click on submit your activity and you will be done okay so i have a few things to announce that we will not be having any class on 14th and 15th as we all will be celebrating diwali right we'll be celebrating diwali right so we will not be able to attend any class so that's why we are not having any class on 14th and 15th we'll be having classes till friday till 13th we will be having classes sunday uh, saturday and sunday we will not have any class okay cool so i'll see you all tomorrow we have exciting classes tomorrow angry bird craft and the water candles right okay kids bye bye thank you so much everyone for joining us i'll see you all tomorrow bye 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 everyone bye